How's it going? Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2011 Ford F-350, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the B&W Custom Installation Kit for fifth wheel trailer hitches. Now this kit is going to allow you to use your fifth wheel trailer hitch in the bed of your truck. Now even though these are above the bed and they're going to sit inside of the bed, they are relatively low profile and they're not really going to take up a whole lot of space or really get in the way. Now one of the things that really separates this kit from many of the others is how well built it is. It's going to be really high quality, everything's going to fit really nicely, we're not going to have to worry about really fighting it whenever we're trying to get everything in. All the hardware is going to be there so we ain't going to have to worry about making trips up to the store and even down the, to the finish. It's a really nice thick powder coat finish so it's going to stay in good shape for a long time. We're really not going to have to worry about them getting too beat up whenever we're not using our trailer hitch, whether we're throwing some lumber back here, some gravel, or whatever else you might have. And the same thing goes for the side plates. They're going to be nice and thick. They're going to have holes already in them that'll match up perfectly to your truck's frame. And they're just going to kind of blend in. They're not really going to be an eyesore. Now, whenever you actually have your fifth wheel in place here in the bed of the truck, it is going to look a little bit different. So what I'm going to do now is grab our fifth wheel, put it in, and that should give you a nice idea of what your truck would look like. Now one of the things I really like about this kit is that it's going to be compatible with a ton of different types and brands of fifth wheels. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding one that'll work. Now the one we have here today our customer chose is the B&W Patriot. And honestly this is one of my favorites. That's because it pairs up really nicely with our kit. It matches. It's real high quality. And since this is a slider, it works really well for those short bed trucks. So whenever you go around those tight turns, you're actually able to move it back and give you a little more room. Now, if you don't have a fifth wheel and you're looking for one, you can find this one as well as many others here at eTrailer.com. Now, one of the things that our customers actually wrote in and said that they really like about this kit is how easy it was and straightforward to get installed. And I'd have to agree with them. It's really not all that bad. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, what we're first going to do is just temporarily lower and remove our spare tire. That way when we're underneath the truck, we're just going to have a little bit more room to work. Now we can hop up in the bed of the truck and take a few measurements. That way we can work on getting our rear mounting rail secured. So the measurements are found in the instructions. So what you do is take your tape measure and it's important that you measure from the edge of the bed itself, not the tailgate. And so you take that measurement and put a mark. And I like to do that in a few different spots along this edge here. Now, once you have those marked, you're going to take your rail and line up the edge of it towards the back of the truck. So this edge, you line it up on the marks, and then you're going to want to center the rail. Now, the way I found the center of the rail is by using these grooves here on the side of the bed. It's a really easy and good spot to take your measurement from. So you simply find your measurement from that edge to the edge of the rail on each side. Do the same thing on the other side of the rail. And once those numbers are the same, you know that your mounting rail has been centered. Now we can use our mounting rail as a template to figure out where we need to drill our holes. Now the holes that we're going to make to secure the mounting rail, we're going to be using these two here at the very end. If you follow to the center, we're going to be using this one. And as well, on the other end, these last two. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can take a center punch and punch a dimple into the bed of the truck. However, I found that beds that have this uh, bed liner, almost this undercoating type bed liner, that can be a little tricky to see. So what I like to do is just take a really small drill bit 
and line it up in the center of that hole and drill a little pilot hole. I want to point out before you drill any holes, you want to make sure to get underneath the bottom side of the truck and make sure that there's nothing of importance underneath. I'm going to repeat this process for all of the remaining attachment points. Now if you come over here to our rear wheel wells, what we're going to do is grab our side plates and more or less just mock them up. That way we can make sure the holes that we pre-drilled are properly aligned. So what I did is I actually left our pilot bit hanging down throughout the bed. And what we're going to do Take our side plate. What we're trying to find is to make sure that that drill bit we left hanging through is going to be centered in our attachment points right here. So I'll lift it up in place. Get everything lined up. And then you can kind of take a peek up and make sure that drill bit is coming down through the center which in our case, it's really close. Looks like we might need to move towards the rear of the truck just a tad, but for the most part, we should be good to go. So what I'm gonna do is pull that bit out and put it in the other hole, check that one, and then we're gonna move over to the other side and do the same thing. So now with everything lined up and checked, we can come back up inside of our bed and enlarge our holes to the size specified in the instructions. With all of our holes drilled out, I went ahead and cleaned up all of our metal shavings. Now I'm going to come back with a little bit of clear spray paint and just kind of coat that bare metal just to help prevent any potential rust or corrosion. Now before we put our side plates on, what we're going to do is take these U-shaped spacer blocks and actually kind of put them underneath this hat channel and the corrugation here in our bed. Now we're doing that because since the corrugation goes up, whenever we put our side plates on and our rails inside of the bed and tighten everything down, it's gonna smash everything and potentially damage it. So with these, what it's gonna do is fill that gap and create a solid metal all metal connection point. So the U-shaped piece here is gonna go around the hole that we drilled, that way our hardware can drop through. And we're gonna slide it in this way. Now nine times out of 10, what we're gonna to have to do is kind of make a bigger opening to allow this to slide all the way in here at this hat channel. So you can do that by just grabbing a pry bar and just kind of opening that up a little bit. So once we create in enough room, we'll take our spacer block and get that lined up. Well, if you have to, if it doesn't want to go all the way in, instead of prying it open even more, if you're relatively close, you can just take a hammer and kind of tap it in. What I like to do is just grab a bolt and just slide it through to make sure it goes through everything. Now I'm going to repeat this same process for all of the other holes that we drilled if needed. So I'll do this side as well as the other side of the truck where our corrugation goes up and there's that gap. Now we can come to our wheel wells and loosely secure our side plates. So what we're going to do is hold this up against the frame. And this is on the passenger side. This hole right here, closest to the back of the truck, we're going to take our bolt 
as well as a flat washer and run that through that factory hole. And this hole right here, what we're going to do is take a bolt and a offset square spacer or washer and we're going to put that in through this opening here. So we'll slide that through just like that and then we can go on to the inside of the frame rail to get the rest of the hardware started hand tight. Now here's where one of our bolts came through the inside of the frame rail. Now on both of the bolts on this side, what we're going to do is take a flat washer, followed by a split lock washer, and a finish nut. Now we're just going to get both of these on there hand tight for now. Now over here on the driver's side, it's set up the exact same way, with the exception that both of our bolts are just going to get that standard half inch flat washer. Now we can hop up here in the bed of the truck. We're going to take our rail and line it up with our holes. Then we're going to take carriage bolts just like this and drop them down through the rail and through the holes in our bed. And we're going to do that for all five of our attachment points. Now the other end of our carriage bolts, as you can see on the side of our frame rail, drop through right here. We're going to loosely secure all those. The hardware combination is going to be the same for all of them. We're going to take an offset spacer block and slide that over our bolt. We're going to take a flat washer followed by a split lock washer and then just a finish nut. These can be a little tricky to get started with all of the washers and everything that we're putting on. So just kind of take your time. Once, once we get them all in place and end up coming back and snugging them down, they're going to seat properly. And now we're just going to repeat that same process for all of the remaining hardware. And the carriage bolt here in the center, as you can see, drops through the bed, through the U-shaped spacer block, and out this side. And then we're just going to use that same hardware combination to get this loosely secured as well. So at this point, we can hop up in the bed of our truck, and what we're going to do is take the front rail and just lie that into the bed, roughly in the position that we're gonna to need to secure it. Now the way we're gonna find that exact position is by grabbing our fifth wheel. And what we're gonna do is lift it up and clip it in to the back rail. And then we're gonna be able to line up the front rail and clip it into that as well. And then that'll give us a really good start on how and where we need to secure that front rail. So now with this in position, what we're going to do is grab it and pull it towards the back of the truck as far as we can go. And then we can come up to our front rail and we're going to push that towards the cab of the truck. Now once we have it like that, you're going to again take your tape measure and make sure that this is centered in the bed of the truck, just like we did the rear rail. Just come off your line here in the bed and measure the distance and we're going to want that same distance on both sides. Now with our front rail centered and everything positioned correctly what I like to do is just take our pins and lock on our fifth wheel base onto the rails. That way we don't have to worry about anything shifting while we're securing this front rail. So 
So now we can use that same method that we used to secure our rear rail for our front one. We're going to drill some pilot holes in the attachment points. We're going to be using these two. This hole in the center that's closest to the front of the truck. And again, these two here on this end. So I went ahead and enlarged all of our holes to the correct size, indicated in the instructions. I put a shot of spray paint, just like we did the rear rail to help keep the metal underneath protected. Now we're gonna put in our hardware. So we'll take our carriage bolts and just push those down into place. Now here's where our bolts drop through for our front rail. And I went ahead and did the same thing. I use those U-shaped spacer blocks to put it in between the bed corrugation, just like we did the back. And this is also gonna get the same hardware combination as the back. Let's take our offset washer there, a flat washer, split lock washer, and a nut. So we're gonna use this hardware combination and get all of the bolts hand tight for now. If you're struggling to keep all the washers on there and it takes up all the room and it's hard to get the nut started, what you can do is just lose a couple of those washers and get that nut on there. Then just tighten it up a little bit. And that'll kind of help pull everything down into place Give you a lot more room to work. Once you kind of pull it down, just take that nut back off and put on the appropriate hardware. So now at this point, we can come and tighten down all of our hardware. Now there's a particular order that you're gonna to wanna to tighten these in. What we're gonna tighten first is all of the hardware that connects our rails to the bed, as well as the side plates. Now with all the hardware snug down, that's connecting our rails to the frame as well as the bed, including the two underneath the bed in the center of our truck, then we can come and tighten down the hardware that holds our side plates to the frame rail. Now with all of our hardware snug, we can use a torque wrench to torque it down to the amount specified in the instructions. And we're gonna do that using the same order that we snugged them all down. And to wrap up our install, we'll go ahead and raise our spare tire back into position. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the B&W Custom Installation Kit for fifth wheel trailer hitches on our 2011 Ford F-350.